Remember, guys, we will be dropping the last Eye of Eternity emblem code on Twitter at 5,000 followers. All you have to do is like this video, comment down below, and go follow us on Twitter. Turn notifications on. <laughs> What's going on YouTube, Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a quick video talking about the top five things that we should have in Destiny 2. Matter of fact, let's say we will have these things in Destiny 2 because we gotta stay positive and we gotta know that Bungie has developed one of the best communities in Destiny 1 and now they need to go into Destiny 2 learning from their mistakes. So that's what we're gonna be talking about here, guys. I love you guys so much for the support recently. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't joined the TKO family and liking and commenting on my videos is always the best way to help and obviously telling your friends about them as well so in this video to be a part of any of the giveaways all you have to do is like the video and comment down below the number one thing that you want to see in destiny 2 it could be some of the things i talk about or it could be something else so let's get into the things now there's no special order for any of these things okay this is just something that i came up with and i think that every single one of these things is very very important to have in destiny 2 so first off let's go into unlimited customization in private matches man oh man destiny one should have had this from the beginning bungie has been so good with the halo series in terms of customization in private matches it would allow for competitive gaming to go to the next level for destiny it'll allow for great entertainment for a lot of people a lot of viewers even professional gamers to sit back and just enjoy the competition in private matches in destiny and i'm talking about ways to turn off super i'm talking about ways to limit what weapons you can use i'm talking about ways to to limit the special ammo that spawns get rid of heavy ammo that spawns in so many different ways that you can customize in-game private matches it'll also allow for a ton of fun games like maybe destiny zombies destiny hide and seek things like that and of course if possible please put a forge mode in destiny 2 because i can firmly say that destiny will be one of the most creative communities to come up with some great maps for everybody to play on whether it be for fun or competitive gaming so bungie come on you did it once in the past where in 2017 you can do it again now let's talk about the next thing the next thing is an in-depth story i know so many of you guys will agree with this destiny one story was very subpar a lot of people say it was absolutely trash it did not go in depth at all it was really just surface level shit it, i felt like it was really something that they just put in so hey guys we have a good story for this game no you don't you need to develop something that has a little bit more depth and it actually lines up a lot better now let's also talk about the fact that the DLC content should be more unique it shouldn't just be the same strikes just reverse the order or the same missions and have a side mission in on them it should be completely new content maybe new planets new areas to explore new enemies come on destiny come on bungie you got to be able to do that you can't just be selling dlcs to us but giving us the same exact content it makes no sense now we are on number four of all the five things that we're going to talk about and let's talk about balance supers and characters guys this is something that i mentioned in a few of my other videos as well but the warlock needs to stop now this class is way too favored you got to be kidding me you have three supers that are all very very good you have a class that everyone's going to use in terms of getting an extra free life you have an arc warlock that is probably the best super to use especially for trials of osiris you guys know it will wipe out entire teams with ease guys this needs to stop i think all classes should be treated equally i'm going to make a stand of this I, how many of you guys agree that all classes need to be treated the same please guys stop 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 favoring warlocks i want my beloved hunter my beloved blade dancer to be back to where it was i want that titan bubble actually i like the titan bubble a lot already but i want classes like all three characters to be up to par and i know i know i know that it's very very difficult to get it perfect it's very difficult to make everyone happy but please Let's just minimize the distance, minimize the gap between the differences between all the classes. I think that is definitely possible. Now let's go to the last and final thing. Once again, this is in no particular order. Just five things that really, really I would love to see in Destiny 2. Le no, 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 sorry. We will see in Destiny 2, right? That's the positivity we got to go forward with. Balance crucible weapons. Oh my god, I am tired of these metas. Oh my god, everybody's going to hop on the Felwinter meta. Everyone's going to be hopping on the Matador 64 meta. Everyone's going to be hopping on the Party Crasher meta, the Shotgun meta, the Sidearm meta, the Wormwood, the Trespasser. 
Come on, Bungie. Come on, Destiny. Stop it. Everyone's using hand cannons. Stop it. We need to find a good balance definitely towards the end of Destiny 1, which that's where we are now. We have made some good strides to get to where we should be. Now we need to make sure that Destiny 2 is implemented very correctly. My recommendation is have some professional gamers, have some competitive Destiny players go and test out the weapons, test out the gameplay. That's the best way to do it because otherwise it just won't work because your developers aren't competitive gamers. They are creative people who are there to make content, not really compete in the game and really go forth the balancing aspect of it. But anyways, guys, that is is my two cents for what we will see in destiny 2 i want to know what you guys think in the comments below remember you can connect with us on all of our social media at real tko gaming there are links in the description below we help in trials raids and everything else so if you need help you read that description in its entirety and we will see you in the next video subscribe if you haven't and turn on those notifications i love you guys so much we'll see you in the next one peace out